Hey everybody, it's ToadCard64, and I'm here to start my first Let's Play today. This is Sonic Adventure DX, my second favorite game of all time, and I've been wanting to Let's Play for a while, but until now I haven't had the proper equipment to do so. So yeah, I'm just going to get started right away here, I already have some files here as you can see, and both of my slots actually had to clear one to play, because I've played through this game so many times since it's just such an amazing game in my opinion. A lot of people may argue that Sonic Adventure 2 was the better game, but in my eyes, it, that's not the case. But that's opinion, like, can't really change opinion. Like, if someone wants to like that compare game, that game better, that's completely fine by me, because they are both fantastic games, don't get me wrong. But I just personally prefer Sonic Adventure 1 to Sonic Adventure 2. And a lot of people say that Sonic Adventure 1 hasn't aged well. I don't particularly agree with that at all. Like, I don't, in, I don't really know how to word this, but I don't think it's possible for a game to not age well, because it's not the game that's changing, it's the person's perspective on the game that's changing. So it's the person that's aging, and so is their view of the game. Sorry if that was confusing, but that's just the way I see it. Anyways, we're starting off here with Sonic's story, obviously, since that's the only story available for you to start. Sonic's just kind of derping around, I guess. Until he stumbles upon this action. Oh uh, yeah, this is happening. Classic Sonic. Of course. What's up? Alright, so Sonic just kind of jumps in, like, I'm Sonic, and something's going on, so he wants to see what it is. And the police are surrounding something, this liquid monster that is currently unknown to us, but he will become very important later on. Trust me. Now this part's just crazy, and it still confuses me. So they all just start rapidly shooting at him with bullets, and it does absolutely nothing. But as you're going to see, Sonic's homing attack is going to do damage to him, when rapid-fire bullets can't. So basically, either Chaos Zero, which is this guy's name, has a weakness to hedgehogs or something, or Sonic is just that badass, one or the other. Anyways, starting out here, we're gonna have a boss battle. Yeah, starting the game with a boss battle against Chaos Zero. This is a fairly easy fight, shouldn't be much trouble at all. You basically just hit him with your homing attack when he's not attacking. Actually, I don't even think I need to give him a chance to attack, to be honest. Up, oh, looks like I messed up. So he's going to jump around here and shoot you with this... I think that's actually a punch, but anyways, like that, taken care of. Very easy fight. I don't think you get graded on boss battles, though. Yeah, you don't. But later on in the game, you get graded on levels. And the grading system is very harsh. Like, it's extremely difficult to get a good grade. Or at least that's the way I see it. Maybe I just suck. Oh, and just warning you guys right now, I'm not I don't really excel at this game. While it is my second favorite game of all time, I'm not that great at it. And if I fail and die or something, I'll just like cut ahead to where I was and where I died, so you guys don't have to see me doing the same thing over and over again. It's chaos, the god of destruction. And this is where Eggman introduces that his name is Chaos, and he doesn't really explain much. Alrighty. And then suddenly out of nowhere, it's daytime. I don't see how that works, but soon up here, we're going to be introduced to our very first level in this game, which is called Emerald Coast. It's a very nice level, actually. Not my favorite, but... It's really good. Alright, so here you see Tails is just kind of messing up. Great voice acting there. Watch out, you're gonna crash. Ah! 
five stars right there. Alright, so Tails randomly crashes his plane, so in this first level, we're basically trying to get to Tails. That's the goal of this level. So now, for the first time, we actually get to start playing! Hooray! Emerald Coast. Again, I love this stage, but my f this is probably in my top three favorite stages in this game, or at least in Sonic's story, but my favorite stage in this game isn't coming up until far later in the game. Alright, so ba your basic stuff here. This is just pretty much, I wouldn't call it a tutorial level, but it kind of seems that way. There's rings everywhere, springs, checkpoints. Every time you hit a checkpoint, if you die, you go back to that checkpoint. Basic stuff. I feel that I should need to explain the controls because they're pretty basic. Analog stick to move, A to jump, A again to homing attack, B to spin dash. What did I just do? There was a button to crouch, and I honestly, to be perfectly honest with you, I can't even remember how to crouch. No, not crouch. I'm confusing myself now. Alright, now the, I, this is actually probably the most iconic part of this level, is this whale that's behind you. And you actually, yeah, see it right here, it breaks the bridge. That's the most memorable part from the stage, in my opinion. And, oh, shh. Wow. I am off to a great start here. Amazing. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that, to be perfectly honest with you. Anyways, Chorus died right in front of a checkpoint. That's brilliant. First level and I'm already dying. That's not a good sign. Let's Player's Curse kicking in already. Alright, so just coming along here, rings. Now you get there, it switches area, it switches the music too. I really like this song actually. Speed shoes there. Kind of a secret path there, so you get a free life. It's pretty nice. All right, so going along here, just your basic stuff. There's nothing really interesting going on right now. This level isn't particularly easy, mind you, but compared to other levels in, in the game, it is. This level just kind of throws checkpoints out at you, though, which are just kind of unnecessary. Even though I'm kind of a hypocrite for saying that because I just died, it's not a very hard level at all. You don't, you shouldn't really need checkpoints. Watch, after I sing that, I'm probably gonna die again. Even after that death, I'm already almost at the 200 coin mark. Oh, and that's the end of the level. There's tails. So yeah, pretty basic level. Although I've made a fatal mistake, it sh really isn't that hard, and I'm just going to go ahead and predict that I'm going to get a C rank, because I seem to get that a lot. Yeah, not bad. Called it. Like, I don't know what it is, but I seem to only get C ranks in this game. That's it. I don't understand it. But anyways, now that we got Tails, we're just fucking around. Bugs to iron out. That's a bit of an understatement. His newest power supply. So he, so he takes one of the seven Chaos Emeralds for his airplane. Great logic. But anyways, these Chaos Emeralds, if you haven't guessed by now or you haven't played the Sonic game before. These are going to become very important later on. Because the seven Chaos Emeralds are very important in the Sonic series, as you're going to see. In this game especially. Alright, this is where we're about to get introduced to the next area in the game, which is Mystic Ruins. But, 
Again, sorry for this part being mostly cutscenes and whatnot. Oh, now you can play as Tails. Well, anyways, sorry for this uh, episode being mostly cutscenes and whatnot, but that's kind of how the game starts out. And there's nothing I can really do about that. I got one level done, and we're about ten minutes in, so before we go off to Mystic Ruins, I'm going to end this video off here. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.